Hey guys, welcome to Inspire Chemistry and today we are doing an important video on top 6 research areas in materials chemistry. So please watch till the end. Well, as you know that research areas are so diversified, it's not possible to like uh, summarize all of them here and nobody can actually do it. It's like an ocean where you'll find thousands and thousands of research topics, people, thousand groups who are working in different fields and aspects of chemistry and materials. So it's not uh, really uh, comprehensible to understand each and every research field and then summarize it. So just to just for the that sake, I'd like to give a disclaimer that I hereby uh, confirm that the list of uh, uh, important research areas I'll be providing in this video are based on my understanding, analysis and findings from the research work and other uh, directory. In no particular order, first, the very important and the very much required is the field of energy. So uh, energy is something everybody wants and there's huge uh, demand of energy and that will that is something that will keep increasing and increasing with time. So we need to find some renewable sources of energy and people are working to extract different sources of energy to um, like sun's energy, winds, uh, tides, all sorts of things which are possible and people are working on it. So it involves field of let's say uh, hydrogen production, hydrogen evolution, oxygen evolution and thermo thermoelectrics where people try to like uh, ext uh, extract the waste energy and uh, reform it back to the electrical energy then people uh, who work in catalysis comes under this branch also where they try to do or make uh, cells with these things uh, uh, with different uh, chemical compositions and catalysts and that there's something which even won a Nobel prize the batteries supercapacitors and that electronics field as well uh, which actually won Nobel prize in 2019 for lithium ion battery so all these research areas they these are just names of research areas. They are extremely d diversified. Okay, so just don't take that. If I say battery, it's, uh, it's just about batteries. It's about anode mater material, cathode material, electrolyte, charge transfer, all sorts of things. There are people working on just electrodes, materials. So it's really, really complex. I'm just naming the uh, names for a broader term. And then the second field would be environment because we need to have a chemistry which is sustainable. We need to have a sustainable development and that requires different and new pathways, methods, mechanisms to use uh, something which are uh, to use chemicals which are more safer to in the environment, uh, which are less pollution, uh, which are less, less polluting. They are people and they are really working hard. There are a lot of people who are working on let's say CO2 reduction because these greenhouse gases and other gases have so impactful uh, uh, impactful thing on our planet that we need to get rid of them as soon as possible so there are different research groups which work in this field like CO2 reduction then there you must have heard about green chemistry safer chemistry and all these things are equally important then then comes the fundamental materials so fundamental and functional materials so it involves polymers which have some direct application. We are flooded with polymers as I've already told you. Okay, all of like polymer is a field which has flooded, which has totally changed the world. It has changed the world drastically in fact. Okay, so we are surrounded by polymers and there's actually a need for polymers as well because they have so much diversified applications and that's why it, it makes an important class of materials as well. It's, then you can have functional materials like MOPs for hydrogen storage. Now, like hydrogen storage, different gas storage. Now there's they have so much application, drug delivery, apps, every sort of things are uh, there. MOPs, COFs, phase transfer catalysts, and these are the sort of fields which comes under functional materials. Okay, then there are field uh, field of fundamental work. So fundamental work in the sense uh, you can relate it with organic chemistry like. Uh, there's an uh, important need for understanding the reaction mechanisms to uh, develop better catalysts or better reaction mechanism with more efficiency and uh, suitable transformation for selectivity and these make, uh, make them very important to understand things fundamentally. Then there is something called the uh, 
very important field which has emerged uh, and already won two Nobel Prize, the supramolecular chemistry which involves different interactions, weak interactions between different molecules and they are e equally important because your lot of your processes, DNAs and uh, all these stuff have these forces with them. So it has already won them two Nobel Prizes and they also try to have like uh, do fundamental research, try to differ, find different pathways, make different pathways for different reactions and uh, related stuff and it's very very important based upon the interactions. Okay, the fifth field would be computational and theoretical applied chemistry because nowadays uh, it, it's possible that you are able to predict uh, structures, properties, reactions on your computer. There are softwares which can do it and you actually don't need to stand in the lab and do reactions. You can, let's say you have, you, you have to work, you're working in catalysts. Okay, now you know that I, I can, although I can have thousands of catalysts which I can synthesize in lab, but if you are able to optimize that, that this particular catalyst with this much doping will do their part, you will only go on to synthesize those which are which show promising properties or promising uh, uh, efficiency. You don't need to synthesize all thousand materials. You just need to uh, synthesize few materials which are more functional, more useful than the other ones. So that is what uh, this theoretical things bring, uh, theoretical insights in chemistry brings to us. And if you have been to, uh, if you have ever heard about hydrogen evolution reaction, the volcano, pla volcano plot is actually based on those uh, DFT calculations. So there's a lot of predictions involved and they are actually very helpful to explain the experimental results that one obtained. And then there is something called the theoretical organic chemistry. People have managed to do reaction, actually the organic reaction in their compu computers. People are doing all sorts of things in their software, so different uh, interactions between two substrates and highly complex uh, um, uh, this nucleic acids and everything which works in your body can also be uh, can also be like uh, uh, seen from this software and it's uh, very easy to analyze them as well. So that's how it is uh, important. And then the sixth field would be the very important characterization field because it's a need of the art to have a probing methods, characterization methods. People, there are people who de develop spectroscopy methods to uh, characterize things. People who work on analytical techniques, probing, sensitivity. So all these things comes under the sixth, the uh, spectroscopy and analytical techniques. So those are the six fields. Although there are thousands of other fields who work in this, but uh, these are the most prominent ones and they actually cover a lot of diverse fields in them separately. So if you have, uh, if you would like to suggest us more fields, if you, uh, please tell us if you, in which field would you like to pursue your research field in the comment box. And if you have any question, you can always come to us. We'll, the, we'll come back with your answers and any knowledge we have to help you out. So please comment uh, in the comment box as well. And if you like this video, please hit the like button, share it with your friends so that they can also benefit from these videos. And please do subscribe us for more informative videos on the same. Stay tuned with us for Inspire Chemistry and we hope to make our nation one of the most research output nations in the world. That's our motive. That's our goal. Inspire